Why did Jesus Christ, the Son of God, God incarnated into the flesh, come to die on yours and mine on behalf? The answer is going to surprise you. And I don't think you have ever heard this before. Because guess what? The church will never teach it. So let's check it out. So here we go. According to when Jesus was in Galilee, his own hometown, Nazareth, there was a synagogue there. And in Luke chapter 4, verse 18, when he stands up in front of the people in the synagogue, this is what he says in Luke 4, 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Why is this important? The main key to this is to preach deliverance to the captives. Check this out. In Galatians chapter 3, verse 19, the Apostle Paul says, Wherefore then serveth the law? It was added because of transgressions. Till the seed should come to whom the promise was made, and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. Now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Check this out. So according to this, Jesus made it clear back in his own hometown, in the synagogue, that he had to preach deliverance to the captives. The Apostle Paul makes it clear that the law was added because of the transgression of sin until the promised seed of Abraham would come. But the law was ordained by angels. Let's check out what Hebrews chapter 2 has to say about it. So here we go. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9, the Bible says, But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels. For what? For the suffering of death. He was made a little bit lower than the angels for the suffering of death, for the crucifixion. Why is this so important? Let's get to the crux of the matter. So here we go. Jesus Christ, who is the hope of glory, was made a little bit lower than the angels. Because in order to defeat the devil and overthrow the law so that grace could now abound, what had to end up happening is Jesus had to come as a man, be made lower than the angels, so that when he suffered under the angelic law that Paul speaks of in Galatians chapter 3, he could overthrow that law, and then preach deliverance to the captives and set them free. And Paul makes that clear even in Galatians chapter 4. That the law is bondage where Hagar is. Earthly Jerusalem. But freedom, liberty, is in the spirit of Christ. Where the mountain of Zion is. I pray this has made sense. I pray this that this has helped you. Jesus didn't come <laughs> so that we could live under the law. He came to free us from the law so now that we can live in perfect love. And perfect love casteth out all fear. God bless you guys. I love you. You have a great night.